This video is going to be the easiest and fastest explanation of Fibonacci retracements when it comes to trading price action that will exist on the internet. So whether you're day trading cryptocurrencies, Forex, or indices, I'm gonna show you the best way to write up a Fibonacci retracement tool. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. I'm gonna try to keep this video under five minutes, so let's get right into the charts. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is click this Fibonacci retracement tool right here, draw it up on your charts. It's going to look different than mine. Go into the settings and adjust all your settings to look exactly like mine. Take a screenshot, save it for future reference. Okay, now when looking at Fibonacci's, what I want you to do is look at market structure. Lower highs and lower lows. Once market structure failed to make another lower low, you are looking at the opposite direction trend. Once that does happen, you are going to draw and start your Fibonacci tool retracement from the point where it had its lowest to the point where it failed to continue market structure. The 0.5 level and the 618 is known as the Fibonacci gold zone. This is the area that you want to enter your trades, but you don't want to enter blindly. You want to look for some sort of price action reversal at that point. If you want more information on price action, reversal, whatever candlestick formation, you can check out the video at the end of this video. It'll be tagged in the thing. So for me, the rejection off of this area was a double bottom. We had one touch, two touches, flat line, but on the RSI, we had a low and a higher low. That right there is a divergence. Once it rejected off of that, you can get into your trade. Now, when looking at take profit levels, this is where it is subjective. Depending on the momentum of the move, you are almost guaranteed to reach back to that higher high that it was at. The reason why I say that is because the likelihood of price making a double top and then consolidating is very high. If the momentum is high, however, this is your original take profit one, the negative 382 is going to be your take profit two, and the negative 618 is going to be your take profit three. In holy crap scenarios, you will have a negative 1.618. This is if you're swing trading. Also, if you think that price might reach this, definitely look left and see if there are any price targets in that range. If they are, then it's most likely that it will continue. So as you can see, we had a gold zone retracement. Then we had more strength and a faster move and a 382 retracement. These are simply retracements on pullbacks. If you take this down to a smaller time frame, you can see that you can even find Fibonacci retracements on smaller time frames and smaller pullback moves. The concept behind this is that if price moves down quickly in a certain direction, and starts to pull back. It just needs a breather and price is either half off or 60% off, both of which are really good psychological levels. Fibonacci retracements are seen all over nature and it is the way that humans and nature behave. Price came down, pulled up, Fibonacci retracement continued down. Keep in mind that they are more significant on a higher time frame than on a lower time frame, but you still could get some good scalps on the five minute chart. Now, if you guys wanna see that video on price action candle formations, you can check it out right here. If you guys enjoyed this video and you like the way that I teach, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and drop a like on these videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.